used to be being loud, hanging out, making moves all of the town. Trying to be cautious, your case of my style. Everybody wanna know what's going down. But that's not how I'm living now. I did a 360, turn my whole life around. Now I room the keys like, yeah, I like how that sound. I wanna know the heaven where the don't sit loud. But see, it's like a bird in a chain. People say I'm different since I came out the game. Now they know I'm Christian, so they think I'm a lame. But I don't care because I'm gonna worship your name. All my real life, Christian, throw your hands up. Beauties, it is Cece with Fruitful Goddess. I am coming to you today with another intimate things video. Um, one thing I want to discuss with you guys is I want you first and foremost, I would love for you to join me in a celebration. Okay. Um, a good, very, very, very dear friend of mine uh, was diagnosed with cancer. Uh and I'm not going to mention her name because uh, I don't think she has let it out yet. However, uh, she was diagnosed with cancer. And you guys, I'm not, I have already prayed. And so I'm going to ask you to pray also. But However, I'm also going to ask you to celebrate her healing with me. Because I'm claiming healing already in the name of Jesus. And we are just going to thank and praise Jesus in advance for her healing, her miraculous healing. Okay, I already know it's done. So I just ask that you join me in the celebration and praise of her healing in the name of Jesus. So please just anytime you think of it during the day or whatever just praise God for healing my friend, okay? So I already know it's done in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you. So we're going to praise him for that. The other thing I would love for you ladies to do is to please go over and check out another dear friend of mine. Here's her picture right here. Her name is Nancy Winningham. And ladies, when I tell you she is an inspirational woman, phenomenal woman, impressive woman, okay? She encouraging woman. Every time she opens her mouth, you're going to get something positive, okay? So I'm just going to, she just started a YouTube channel, so I'm going to ask you ladies to go over and please support her. You know, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. You know what I'm saying? Leave a comment. Just show her some love. The next thing, I am just going to say a quick prayer before we get started. Lord, I humbly come before you in your precious son, Jesus' name. I just ask that you, I just thank and praise you for allowing us to make it through this day thus far. And Lord, I just ask that you just make sure that the right words come out of my mouth, Lord. Make sure that I praise and I edify you, Lord, in everything that I do. And I just thank you and I praise you right now in your precious son, Jesus' name. Thank you. Amen. Okay. Let's talk a little bit. Um, <clears throat> I'm still working with my yoni eggs. I'm still wearing my uh, rose quartz. I um, I still have my candles and my incense and my crystals and everything all through the house. You guys, and I'm telling you, uh, all of this purifying and this cleansing within myself has just led me and given me the gumption and the get up and go to purify and cleanse my house. You guys know, I'm going to tell you, I am a, I'm not a nasty person. I can be messy and I can be junky. I just have stuff everywhere. And, you know, God just gave me the, um, the inspiration that, you know, all of the negative, you know, when you have a lot of negativity in your life, when it seems like it's just a lot going on, it's because you have a lot around you. You know what I'm saying? If you have clutter and confusion around you, it's going to cause clutter and confusion in your life. And so I'm just starting to clean out. I'm just cleaning out. When I tell you I'm, I'm cleaning out drawers, I'm cleaning off my dressers, I'm cleaning out everything. I'm telling you, it's no telling. And what I'm not cleaning out, I'm recycling. 
Um, another thing, I'm going to start to just speak positive things in my life. Um, Y'all know that me and my husband went through a financial issue last year and what have you. And so I picked up the nasty habit of saying, I can't afford this and I can't afford that. Well, the devil is a liar. I can afford anything I want. Truth be told, I can afford anything I want. Because if I really think about it, and I can afford everything I need, okay? And when I say that, I mean, be, truth be told, I don't need any new clothes. <laughs> Look, I don't, and this ain't, this just a, a, the icing on the cake. I don't need any new clothes. I don't need any new shoes, okay? I don't need, I have wigs all up here. You guys saw that in my other video. Um... I don't need it. I may want it. And can I afford it? I probably can. Am I going to buy it? Probably not. Not unless it's something I really want. And I have learned I am frugal anyway. Hence the frugal goddess. Yes, I am frugal anyway. So I know a lot of beautiful ladies that have the same addictions I have. And I, when I'm here to tell you, I will go on uh, We Love Wigs too. Uh, wigs on a budget, uh, beauty on a budget, um, di this diva's on a budget. I will go in those groups and I can find any and everything I need for little or nothing. I get outfits and everything under 10 and $15 and that is with the shipping included. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I know how to work it. I know how to twerk a dollar. You talk about twerking. I know how to twerk a dollar. So anyway, um, yes, so I'm going to try to really start speaking positive things into my life. Uh, I'm going to try to keep the clutter out of my life. And some things, you know, I'm going to tell you, sometimes, ladies, we have to just relax. Whoosa. And I did that tonight. I just got out the shower. I took me a nice hot shower. I turned all the lights out. I have my shower head changes colors. It's blue when it's cold. It's green when it's warm. And it's red when it's hot. So I uh, I turned the lights out. I light my incense. I light my candle. And I just, you know, woo Tonight I listened to Nancy's video. And man, Divas, when I tell you, whoo. Yes, it gave me so much life. Nancy was, she says, um, a trial is not meant to cause pain. How did she put it? It's not meant to cause pain, but to be an umbrella during the rain. And we, you know, y'all know God don't want to hurt us. God does not want us to hurt. He does not want us to be um, distraught. He does not want us to be down and out. And sometimes when we go through trials, we are, oh, 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 I ain't going to make it. But you know, we have to celebrate trials. If you, if you ever walked in the rain, oh, and, I mean, it's not a cold rain. It's that nice rain that is not really, that you're not going to get drenched. But it's just nice. And if you have an umbrella, it's even better because it's just stopping you from getting wet. But you're enjoying the rain. You're feeling the comfort of the rain. And sometimes that's how we have to look at a trial. You know, the trial is the rain. And now we get, it's just a little rain, a little drizzle. And now we got this umbrella that's just keeping us from getting all the way completely soaking wet. We're getting a little damp, a little damp here and there. But it's okay. It's okay. We're going to dry it. And that's, you know, that's how I want to start looking at trials. And so, again, you know, we have to relax. And so I've been doing a lot of reading and a lot of studying on the crystals. And I hope I pronounce this right. I know I'm going to, uh, I know I'm going to assassinate it. But uh, your Shakura. And that talks about how everything in your body like the root chakra is in the back of your neck. And I can believe that because sometimes, you know, when we're going through stuff, we have so much pain and tension in the back of our necks. It's just horrible. So, but anyway, and the colors for that, you know, I, it's the colors and the scents. And so if, you know, most of you guys know, 
I know I'm rattling right now because I'm trying to get to a point and it's kind of hard for me to get there. But anyway, most of you know that like the relaxing scents are lavender, vanilla, chamomile, uh, jasmine, those type of scents. Well, each one of us has a, a scent that um, is just relaxing to us. Some of like some people like the candles, those pumpkin spice, sugar cookies, those type of things. They like those candles because maybe your mom made excuse me, maybe your mom made sugar cookies when you were little. And so you remember coming in from school and you smelled that smell of those that vanilla and the sugar and everything and it just made you feel good. That's a happy place for you. So when anytime you smell the candle scent sugar cookies it takes you back to that happy place. So, me personally, I prefer, like, ocean breeze scents. I love lavender. I love vanilla. The two combined. I like that scent. I love the lavender scent. Sometimes, just plain vanilla by itself. Um, I love the scent of patchouli oil. And I'm going to tell you, patchouli oil, I've just read this. They say patchouli oil is a scent that... Um, it pull, helps to pull everything together, and it helps to um, ward off evil spirits. I'm looking at the door because I'm pretty sure my baby's at the door. Cheyenne, come here. Push. Come on. So uh, the patchouli oil, the scent of patchouli oil, helps to ward off evil spirits, and it helps to... Um, y'all, I'm going to cover her up with her teddy bear, y'all. She can't be showing her goodies. So it helps to ward off the uh, evil spirits. It helps to ward off spirits of negativity, that type of thing. And, you know, those are the things that we want warded off. We don't want a lot of negative spirits. And uh, and people, care. I have always been a firm believer of this. I believe people carry spirits. If you are around a negative person and you're around them all day, every day, the next thing you know, you are negative. And sometimes you have to, um, you know, sometimes if you have been around somebody and you know they're a negative person, they're your friend, um, they're your friend or whatever, and you know they're negative, but you love them regardless or what have you, you know, after you leave them, just, Lord, please cleanse me. Cleanse me of all negativity. Cleanse me of all anger. Cleanse me of any and every spirit that is not like you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. You know, cleanse yourself. A lot of times we don't think to cleanse ourselves. When we go before God, we don't think to cleanse ourselves. And that's the positive, you know, that's what we have to do. We have to cleanse ourselves. And in order to cleanse ourselves, we have to relax. We can't be angry. We can't be all just bitter and mean, you know. And so whatever we have to do to relax, to cleanse ourselves, you know, if we have if we gotta come in the closet and close the door, if we have to go in the bathroom and close the door, you know, whatever we have to do, sometimes just to calm down if we have to get on camera. And talk it out a little bit, you know. Don't vent, y'all. Don't put your business on Facebook. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't put your business on Facebook. I mean, it's some things, but mm -mm. if you angry, call somebody. Call somebody and talk. <laughs> you know what I used to do? Uh, this was a lot of years ago. But I would get angry and I would call up the phone company. I'm going to show my age now. But do y'all remember the phone company, MCI? I had my house phone through them. And I used to call them up and just harass them and cuss them out. Y'all, I used to get credits on my bill all the time for little or nothing. But I would call those people and harass them and cuss them out when I was upset or angry. And no, I'm not telling you to do that. But I am saying, you know, call somebody, talk to them, then write it down. It's a lot you can do um, rather than living and dwelling and wallowing in the negativity. So, and some of the things you can do are, like I said, get get your space. We have to have our space. And I have no, I know that like my yoni eggs, they draw a lot of negativity out of me. Uh, my crystals, you know, sometimes if I'm going through something or I'm upset 
or somebody says something to me, I do this. I just, you know, go rub across my crystal because I have prayed over my crystal. I have talked to God. I have asked God to feel, you know, to allow my crystal to be filled with his power. And it's just a reminder, okay, God is in control. God is in control, you know. Whenever I do this, it's like me saying God is in control. I, I give it up. It's nothing I can do. God is in control. And so... I know I've rambled on. I didn't really talk about too much or nothing in this video. I am at almost 15 minutes. It's going to be about 16 with my intro. But I want you guys to go over and check out Nancy Whittingham. Um, please go over. Like I said, hit the like button. Hit, leave a comment. Please hit the subscribe button. And let her know that you love her. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, go ahead. And you guys, I love you. I want you to have a beautiful, blessed evening. And remember to tell somebody you love them. Don't wait too late. And please, please, please celebrate my friends healing with me. Yes, hallelujah. She is healed in the mighty name of Jesus. So I ask you to celebrate her healing. And remember to what? Be your own kind of beautiful. Later.